But first, coffee. Hey guys, it's Nana, and today I'm talking about the books that I read in February. I started off the month with Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, and this is one I've been meaning to read for ages, pretty much since it first came out. It's set in the future, I guess. In the future, a flu wipes out like 99% of the population. It follows a few main characters um, and shows their lives before the pandemic, during and after. So it jumps around in time a bit. It's a non-linear narrative. And I really enjoyed this. I thought the writing was really great. I think the events that take place within the book are just this side of plausible, meaning, you know, I, I feel like something like that could happen. It made me think about if that did happen, would I survive? Would I be one of the people who dies? You know, who would I become? So I thought that was really interesting. It also explores other themes like artifacts and, you know, relics of the past and celebrity and fame and also, I guess, identity. When a narrative jumps around, I feel like it's really easy to get lost. But in this case, I think the author did a really great job of weaving the different storylines together. And I definitely read more of her work, so I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. Then I read The Secret Lives of Baba Segi's Wives by Lola Shonian, and I also read Oil on Water by Helon Habila, and I read both of these for Read Soul Lit, and I did a whole video review on both books. I'm not going to talk about these two a lot, I'll just link up my video below if you want to hear my full thoughts on both books, but basically I liked both of them. I preferred this one a bit more. Um, both are written by Nigerian authors, and for my Read Soul Lit video I wanted to read books by Nigerian authors that I hadn't heard of, so I have lots more thoughts on those which you can check out in my other video. I forgot to mention for The Secret Lives and Oil and Water, I gave both of those 3 stars, although I'd put Oil and Water more at 3.5 stars. And then finally, throughout the month of February, I was reading this book, and when I say throughout the month, I really mean that I started it at the beginning of February, and then I read some other books, and then I came back to it, because I cannot read two books at once. And that book is Dracula by Bram Stoker. I'm so glad I read this. It's one of those classics that I've been meaning to read, and Sabrina from Sega Chino said something about this in one of her recent videos, and she said that with a lot of classics, she read them when she was younger, so she can't quite remember which ones she read or, you know, what exactly happened. And I feel the same way. There are so many classics where I'm like, I think I read that, maybe, or maybe I read an abridged version when I was a kid or something like that. But this one I definitely had not read, which is crazy because I love vampire stories, so, you know, this is right up my alley. I found it funny. I don't know if it if other people would, but especially in the beginning when Jonathan Harker goes to Transylvania and meets with Count Dracula and starts to notice some strange things and he's like, hmm, it's so strange that this man has no reflection and doesn't eat and I only see him at nighttime. What could be with that? And I'm like over here cracking up because like we know that he's a vampire. Um, so I just thought that was funny, but it's told through journal entries and diaries from a bunch of the main characters, and I really enjoyed it. It's a great read. As with all classics, it took me a little while to settle into the style. You know, I always have to like, in the beginning, wrap my head around the style, and then I get more comfortable. And the last half, I'd say, I read in like chunks of a hundred pages or so. I give this four out of five stars. So that is my speedy February wrap up. I'm currently reading Housefrau by Jill Alexander Esbaum. That comes out March 24th, I want to say, so I should be talking about that later in the month. But that's everything I read. Let me know if you read any of these and or let me know if you did a wrap up video. I'd love to check it out. I am super behind on booktube, although I'm slowly catching up. I think I'm only a few days ago I was like two weeks behind, and now I think I'm like a week behind, so that's better. <laughs> but I will get to it eventually. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to talk to me elsewhere, I am on Goodreads and Twitter and Instagram. And if you like this video, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and or subscribe. I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!